What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be going over the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Store, can you guess it? Deals and offers of the week for the EU side of things and if you guessed it, let me know in the comments section below. I'm pretty sure you guys have by now, but anyways, we got the PlayStation Plus double discounts. There should be a good amount of deals, I mean... I talked about Sony's typical cycle yesterday and in a video today. So given Sony's track record, the EU should have some fairly decent deals. Borderlands Handsome Collection, the Ezio Collection, Mass Effect. How much is this one? Ooh, let me pull it up and see. I didn't take I didn't take my meds today. I'm just kidding. We got a regular one and then we got PlayStation Plus 1749. They have a free demo. You could try it out for free. If it's your cup of tea, then hey, you got until next Monday. Oh, and actually next Tuesday to purchase said game. Bioshock the collection, EA Sports, UFC 2. We got EA Sports, NHL 18. There's a lot of uh, trending EA stuff in here. Go figure. Marvel vs. Capcom. I, I need to learn how to speak. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. This is a PlayStation Plus classic. Batman. We got Dishonored. Mafia 3. Um, Watch Dogs 2. Mad Max, by the way. Awesome game. Sniper Elite 3. Or I'm making up stuff. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. <laughs> Silly monkey flop. Titanfall 2, the season pass of Telltale Games, Batman. And then the Batman enemy within season pass. Yet another Telltale Batman game. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. If you guys are fans of Guardians of the Galaxy, this is another one that I most recommend. It is awesome if you guys have not played it yet. I've watched a, a couple of people stream it, and it looks amazing. Can't wait to get my hands on it. But then again, I have so many games in my backlog that it's just crazy. Lego Batman 3 is one that I would recommend, but that price point is a little bit steep, even though it's a premium edition and the game has been out for quite some time. Just throwing that out there, I would hate to see somebody go and waste their money. Uh, you might be able to find a cheaper copy in the stores. Um, there's all sorts of games on sale. We get the Telltale Collection, and that one's actually priced pretty decent given the fact that you get five games matter falls on sale 12.79 we've seen it go for a little bit less throwing that out there too so whenever we see deals and and they, they look pretty good you know i go over the deals and offers of the week each and every week if you guys are new around here um this is something that we do on a regular basis and we go over the deals and if there's a deal that I've seen go for less, and I'll let you guys know. Red Dead Revolver, that one's actually a pretty decent price as well. 30% uh, off, but the original price was not $11.99. I believe it was $19.99, then got dropped down to $11.99. Now it's on sale for $8.39. Um, then we're getting into uh, some indies and some, you know, some other games that are pretty popular too. We got a uh, PlayStation 2 Classic Bundle. If you guys are into playing PlayStation 2 games, they brought them over to the PlayStation 4 with trophy support, so that's pretty cool. Rainbow, Rainbow Six Siege. Anybody still playing this game? I'm curious. I want to know. I, I know a friend and I actually a couple of people that still play this game to this date. $15.99, $14.49 if you got PlayStation Plus. Remember, this is for the EU side of things. So, uh, you know, don't get your panties in the wad, US. Uh, I've already got it in a wad for you. Because <laughs> look at these deals. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, $7.99. Dude, this game is awesome. It plays awesome. If you get a PlayStation 4 Pro, it looks beautiful. If you don't, I mean, I played it on the PlayStation 3 and uh, the regular Tomb Raider, and it, oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I could not get, uh, you know, behind, like, my eyes could not 
unsee what was seen. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Metal Gear Solid 5 is also on sale. <laughs> Look at Ground Zeroes. F you, Ground Zeroes. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I was actually excited for Metal Gear Solid 5 when they announced Ground Zeroes was going to come out before it and the price point was 20 bucks US dollars. I was like, yes, I'm on it. And I actually picked it up uh, on release date, went home, played it, beat it in 15 minutes um, on the hardest difficulty. I'm like, F you. I, dude, don't waste your money. Three dollars, three uh I was about to say dollars. We're not talking dollars here. But three twenty nine, don't waste your money. Fifteen ninety nine, don't waste your money. Just do yourself a favor. That that part is garbage. It's just a demo. Unless you want to play a demo, then by all means. Need for speed rivals. Dragon Age Inquisition is always on sale. Sniper Elite 3. Pretty cool game. It's a little bit slower of a pace than my cup of tea as far as like gaming, but then it's a sniper game, so it has to be slower pace, right? Thief, Infamous Second Sons, Monopoly Project, Cars, Watch Dogs, Game of Thrones, Rayman Legends, Great Couch Go Up game, by the way. Let's continue. Get this ball rolling, Monkey Flop. There's so many games to go over, and I'm over here sitting, thinking, ooh, Back to the Future, got that game. Tetris Ultimate, this is actually a pretty good price. The original price in the U.S., I believe, when it came out, was 20 bucks, And then it went down to 10 bucks. Right here, you see $7.99. Right now, it is uh, $3.29, so that's pretty cool. Jack and Dexter, a lot of people were anticipating this, but it kind of, like, failed. Um... <laughs> Um, well, as far as sales goes, they, everybody that wanted the game got the game and they were happy. They were satisfied. I'm actually thinking about getting it. But uh, as far as Sony's concerned with numbers, it didn't do that good. So they should have brought back SOCOM. <laughs> Just saying. Um, Uno. <laughs> I'm not going to stop with that, by the way. Okay. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, today, uh, I ate some uh, Yoshinoi, so I'm kind of like bogged down. Have you ever, you ever eat fast food and then feel like crap afterwards? Dear Lord. But I, I don't have time to cook or be healthy. <laughs> That's so sad. I don't know. I don't have time to be healthy, guys. You got to eat on the go. I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, like... Don't you ever feel like crap after eating takeout food? It's horrible. Far Cry 5 Deluxe Edition crew. The games are going to be repeating, to be honest with you guys. There's going to be a couple of new ones that are in the mix, but you guys won't be too concerned about that. We get the game discounts. Game under 8. Uh, PlayStation Plus discounts. There is a lot on sale this week for... The PlayStation 4 EU side of things. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section below. If you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. Remember, comments always help too. So give me your guys' honest opinions about the deals of the week. Or if you don't have any uh, opinions, uh, let me know if you were to go to Yoshinoya. By the way, not sponsored. Uh, but that's what I ate, okay? If you were to go to Yoshinoya, what would you order? Um, if you guys answer that, then I know you watched up until the end of the video. And I appreciate you. I see you. Um, if you don't want to answer, what's up, Monkey Flop is always great as well. Hit that subscribe button, bell notification. And I will see you guys in the next video I, I think you guys know what the next video might be right okay i'm i'm gonna stop hinting okay i'll see you guys in the next news update i appreciate you guys the support you guys are awesome flash is awesome <sighs>